As my lawn slowly slips into dormancy due to the drought, let's do some back lapping on this McLean. I can tell you now that I don't have the right tools, but I do have things you can get from your local hardware store. So let's give it a try. First thing we need to do is remove this plastic cover to get access to the chain and sprockets. To remove the chain, we just need to remove this quick link. All we need to do here is push this clip to unlock the pin. And try not to drop it, like I just did. Found it! Carefully pry off this plate. And again, don't drop it like I just did. Found it. Now we can remove the pin that's holding this chain together. Now here comes the challenging part. I need to build a tool to spin the sprocket. I'm cheap, so my plan is to replicate a tool that I saw online that you can purchase. Since the pitch diameter of the sprockets are directly opposite from each other, I can probably get away with using two bolts. I'm going to use this scrap piece of oak wood to hold the bolts in. But first, I need a template. That should do it. And here she is. I used two half inch bolts for this. It's loose enough to remove, but tight enough so it doesn't slip off. Now let's get that center bolt put in for the drill. All right, fingers and toes crossed. Let's hope this works. The center bolt is a bit off centered, but it works. I just can't go super fast with it. Just need to cut off the extra wood off the end and I think we're ready to go. I'm going to use this half inch sprocket to loosen the reel. I need to get it just barely touching the bed knife. It felt very tight, or still feels very tight, so we're going to loosen it up a bit.
It's way too tight. Couple of light taps here should uh, loosen her up. Now it's just a little too loose. Now that feels about right, just barely touching. I don't have lapping compound, but I did pick up this valve grinding compound from Napa Auto Parts for under eight bucks, and I believe it's about 120 grit. I don't need to take that much off, so this should work just fine. I'm just going to brush this on to get it going. Not really trying to make it even since the uh, centrifugal force when the reel is spinning will force the compound to the cutting edge. And I'm going to throw a bunch more on it as it's spinning. So it's going to get a bit dirty. I can hear it biting, so I think I got the reel to bed knife set just right. Here we go. I'm going to do this for the next 10 minutes and bring you back. Just going to make a slight adjustment to tighten it up a bit.
So I've been doing this for a good 15 minutes now and I think we're good. I can see that the factory grind is now gone. So I think it's time to clean it up. Smooth as butter. I need to get all this stuff off before we can spin it forward. like we got it all. I'll get this uh, dried off and it's time to adjust the reel to bed knife again. No cut on this right side. Made a slight adjustment. Let's see how she takes it. Cut. 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 And cut. I think we're perfect. It sounds so good. Light touch of the reel to the bed knife. That's perfect. Time to put this chain back together. I'm going to be using the silicone based bike chain lubricant. I had some pretty good luck with it. Just a little more for good measure. Let's put this cover back on.
All right, let's take it out for a spin. Smooth as butter. Thanks for watching and keep on cutting.